chapter 8, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah continues discussing the oil used for Menachos. An olive tree yields, yields three olive harvests each year, and in each of those harvests, three different grades of oil are produced. Thus, each tree produces nine different grades of oil. The Mishnah elaborates. It begins with the first harvest. For the first olive harvest, one picks the crop at the top of the olive tree. He pounds the olives and puts them inside a basket with holes on the bottom. Oil oozes from the olives and drips through the holes on the bottom of the basket into a container placed directly below the basket. Rebbe Huda says the olives are not placed in the bottom of the basket, but are packed around the inside walls of the basket. The oil will flow down to the walls. The oil will flow down the walls of the basket before dripping through the holes. This filters the oil. Either way, this oil that collects in the lower container is the first grade of oil from this harvest. The Mishnah describes how the second grade of oil is extracted. He then presses the olives with a heavy beam to squeeze out more oil. Rabbi Huda says he presses the olives with stones, not with a beam. Either way, this oil that comes out through the pressing is the second grade of oil from this harvest. The Mishnah describes how the third grade of oil is extracted. He then grinds the olives with millstones and again presses them with a beam to extract more oil. This is the third grade of oil from this harvest. Only the first grade of oil is valid for use in the menorah, but the other grades of oil are valid for menachos. The Mishnah describes how the three grades of oil from the second harvest, the second batch of olives ripen, are produced. For the second olive harvest, he picks the crop from the place on the tree that is as high as a rooftop. He pounds the olives and puts them inside a basket with holes, and the oil drips through the holes to a container underneath the basket. Rabbi Yehuda says the olives are packed around in the inside walls of the basket. Either way, this oil that collects in the lower container is the first grade of oil from this harvest. He then presses the olives with a heavy beam to squeeze out more oil. But Rabbi Yehuda says he presses the olives with stones rather than with a beam. Either way, this oil that comes out through the pressing is the second grade of oil from this harvest. He then grinds the olives again. He then grinds the olives and again presses them with a beam to extract more oil. This is the third grade of oil from this harvest. Only the first grade of oil is valid for use in the menorah, but the other grades of oil are valid for menachos. The Mishnah describes how the three grades of oil from the third harvest are produced. These olives are hard and will never fully ripen. Therefore, an extra step is required to extract their oil. For the third olive harvest, he packs the olives in a vat in the house until they become spoiled. That is, until the flesh of the olives becomes soft, so that their oil can be extracted. He then takes the olives up and dries them in the sun on the rooftop. He pounds the olives and puts them inside a basket with holes, and the oil drips through the holes to a container underneath the basket. Rabbi Huda says the olives are packed around the inside walls of the basket. Either way, this oil that collects in the lower container is the first grade of oil from this harvest. He then presses the olives in the basket with a heavy beam to squeeze out more oil. Rabbi Huda says he presses the olives with stones. Either way, this oil that comes out through the pressing is the second grade of oil from this harvest. He then grinds the olives and again presses them with a beam to extract more oil. This is thir the third grade of oil from this harvest. Only the first grade of oil is fit for the menorah, but the others are fit for menachos.